picked up an insert for the center console, which would allow me to add an aftermarket DVD screen or player or GPS unit to my Mazda Speed 6. Um, I've had the head unit for a while, but this is how you add it to the Bose sound system. To access the center console, um, there's a few different things you need to do. Firstly, you need to remove your, um, your gear knob, and then these two center sections are actually just going to pull out. So, remove whatever's in there. Get all lost. Get all out. And then lift. You don't actually need any tools for this part. If you just grab it firmly, you should be able to pull the tabs out. Um, first time I did this, I used screwdrivers, and you see, just mark the edges a little bit. Uh, not too bad, but since then, realize don't need to do any of that. This next one, I have an RSM meter mounted in there, so it's a little bit trickier for me. Pull it to the side to get around the gear knob, that'll come out, and I'm just going to lean that to the side simply because there is extra wiring in there because of that um, RSM meter. Next thing you need to do is uh, remove, if you can, your glove box. Um, once again, mine's not as simple because we've got some extra bits in there. The gas strut comes off, push the sides in, that will fold down. Um, then the whole lot will come out. I'm just going to leave that here in the footwell so I don't have to run cords. Then, um, if you've watched my video on the um, on the RSM install, you'll notice there's actually a, a bolt in here. If you come in here, you can see up there there's a bolt. And that bolt needs to come out in order for that center console to come out. So we're going to undo that one. Um, it's a 10mm bolt on there. And then we're going to undo the screw. There's one there. You can see there's one on the other side as well. And once we've done that, we can actually pull this whole front unit forwards. Make sure they're the top ones, these bottom ones aren't the ones we're actually looking forward there. Give it a firm tug. And there it goes. And out pops the head unit in one easy fashion. I'm going to unplug the aerial. Then I'm going to unplug. Scratching it if I can help it. I'm trying to unplug the head unit. Um, cool. Need a screwdriver. Just gonna start um yeah pulling some parts off here and placing them across under this other unit um, in the hope that everything's gonna gonna work. comes off. Um, if you want to do a boost gauge then you pop out that centre part, clear it through and run your boost gauge through there then put a block off of some sort through it, which is all good. But um, for what we're doing, just for the sake of the show and tell, that's going to fit on like that and look all factory. Very nice indeed. Given with this kit, um, two of the same sides, so I've had to cut a groove which would fit around a um, mounting point there so that, that will then snugly fit in. It is going to be fairly really snug to be honest. I actually, might need to cut one, two, three grooves a little bit deeper. I'm just going to use a, a file to um, cut those just a little bit more. Uh, the other thing I've got with this kit is um, what I found is because I bought it so long ago, I've had this lying around for quite some time now. Um, 
have, didn't have everything like, that it was going to come with. As you do sometimes when you get stuff from from eBay and from overseas and what. So um, one, two, three grooves recutting there. Now, it didn't actually come with all the bolts that I needed was required for the job. So I'm um, going to see if I can make do. I'll have to make that a little bit wider. Generally I would not be working here doing soldering work, but um, just the way the shed is at the moment, it's a bit of a, a bit craziness, a couple other projects on the go, so um, I'm just going to solder here on top of the, the metal uh, for now. But what I've printed off is, um, this is the instructions that came with the head unit, and this is a pinout of the car stuff that's come as well so I'm hoping between the two I can work out which is which um, on here so yeah, black and red I would assume a pretty standard for battery and orange is usually a um, pretty standard for auxiliary and then we've got the other ones purple and front and back and all that sort of stuff so hopefully we can work out everything from there I'm going to start off by doing is just seeing if we can get the unit to, to power up. If I can, um, I know I'm actually onto the right. Yeah, it's following the, the general, the normal pattern that they follow. This one fit into there. There we go. So that's correct. That's working. That means that it's following the normal rules, which is good. That's a very good thing for us. And so I've soldered up most of it. So, um, it's all looking pretty nice now, we've, we've lined up our wires, we've had to do a little bit of a trick here, um, we had to change some of the wiring, um, there's a low voltage thing that I had to allow for, so you can see there's some different coloured um, extra wires, um, yeah. That took quite a bit of um, yeah reading and sorting out, but that's alright, so that's all good now. Um, so pretty happy with that. Tied it all up, it's all good. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to try something. I've got my little bolt grabber, and I'm actually going to run that down here. The reason being is, that, hey look, I wonder if we can do this all in one, while on camera. Doubt it. Not bad though. If I can grab the end of that, that's the microphone cord. Oh, need two hands. Let me grab that quick. The end of the microphone input there. Okay, so, in theory now, we love theory. Ta da! Out comes the wire. That all the headache and contorting that is usually required in um, getting cords through. All kinds of different ways. Pull that nice and tight. I prefer the, yeah, I prefer the slack to be behind here. And there's a microphone plug back here. That gives us the microphone. So then we'll um, we'll try this thing out. But that's so we've soldered these. We've got the lot wires sorted out. We've had to do a bit of research and. Um, do some different wires. I can't remember off my head, um, but I'll put a link in the description to some of the forums that I used to get that stuff. I really wish I had filmed it when I did it, but um, I know if people are looking for the Bose system, then I do apologise. Um. <laughs> 
That's a head unit, very happy with the install, and um, yeah, it's all pretty cool. So it gives me some functionality. You could add anything you wanted to there using those same principles. So if you wanted to add um, you know, a cheaper unit, that maybe you get a cheap one that has actually a GPS in it, that'd be great, and that leaves this area good for pod clusters. Actually sort of neaten that up a little bit rather than going for the, um, the vent pod. The only reason this isn't put in properly is um, I'm having some issues getting those to read true, so um, yeah, <laughs> but there we go. There's Jordy. Dancing Jordy. Dancing Jordy. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time on Team's Garage.